those who have not experienced Bad Dreams music or wish to learn more about the upcoming album, I'm Fred from Profile and today I'm very happy and fortunate to be talking with Gabriel Agudo from Bad Dreams. How are you? How are you, Fred? I'm, I'm so, so happy to, to talk with you and talk about our new work uh, and the new album of Bad Dreams. Awesome. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Uh, before I get to the main questions, uh, can you quickly describe your music musical journey uh, before the Bad Dreams era? Yeah, well, uh, I was uh, very eclectic uh, before I started with, with Bad Dreams in my early days, so I submerged uh, myself inside several musical styles like uh, classical, uh, jazz, soul, uh, funk, blues, and even hard rock, and until my passion for progressive rock uh, captivated me forever. I'm now I'm lost. I'm I'm a prog boy now. Yeah, you are. Uh, you you released your first album back in 2014. It's called The Apocalypse of the Mercy, and uh, this album was very well received. And the critiques were extremely uh, positive. On, number, on November 18, you will be uh, releasing your second album. It's called Deja yeah. Vu. Deja uh, Vu. Yeah. First, congratulations for the release. And uh, what are your expectations with the second album? Well, we have the, the best expectations for sure. Because actually, we feel very happy. Uh, of the the sound, uh, we think we 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 have this uh, this evolution in in our sound, uh, and we gained uh, a lot of confidence between uh, the the first and the second album. So um, you will not hear me saying it's our best work, as all the musicians say it <laughs> when they they are all about to, to release a new album. So uh, we prefer that people and musical critics uh, can judge uh, and decide if we, if we have raised the rod of comparing with Apocalypse from the new album, Dejable. Okay. Um, um, I prefer that people judge that, not, uh, not me, no? So you wrote most of the lyrics on that album. Uh, so can you tell us, like, is there any concept or any line of thoughts throughout the album? Yes. Uh, uh, before I, I write the lyrics, uh, generally we speak with, with Jorge. Jorge Tenesini is uh, the keyboard player and, and it's uh, also a songwriter there in Bad Dreams. And uh, I remember when we were talking the, First, first we we decide uh, uh, the the album's concept. So uh, I remember when we were talking with Jorge and, and um, that uh, deja vu concept uh, um, came out. So uh, each each songs refers to that concept and and has that meaning of deja vu that is uh, an immortal soul. And, and that uh, those deja vu moments that uh, we experience across lifetime are, are the reflections of that soul. So we are very happy too with the with the with the results and and, and with the lyrics, especially especially my work uh, in this album with the lyrics. Great, great. Uh, it's obvious that uh, Bad Dreams and uh, Steve Rottery who's the guitar player from Marillion, have developed some kind of a, well, a great relationship, if I can say. So tell us more about this relationship and uh, what, what does he bring to the table when, uh, with regard to Bad Dreams? Well, you know, Steve Rothery is a prog, it's a prog legend and, and an awesome musician and, and a great human being and we have the honor to play uh, with uh, as a as a backup band uh, in south america uh, with steve uh, um, performing uh, marillion 
Marillion songs of the first area, of fish area. So um, we have a lot of times uh, and great moments to increase our relationship and he's a, a good friend of the band and and uh, when when came now to this idea of, of, of the making of of, of Deja Vu album, uh, uh, we talked with with Steve and and uh, um, he wanted to, to play some some guitars inside the album. Um, so, but uh, he didn't have too much time because he was touring and and recording with Marillion's. Uh, uh, the Fear album, you know? so uh, we decided that uh, will be perfect uh, to to have uh, only only uh, uh, his guitar solo in in the main title track because uh, uh, the music matches perfectly between uh, between Bad Dreams music and and his own style. Uh, so. Uh, I must say that that uh, Steve solo is outstanding and uh, it's very soulful and uh, I can't stop hearing Steve's magic every time I play the track. Uh, that's great. Uh, it is quite uncommon uh, to hear a progressive rock band from Argentina. So how did this happen and, and how and why did you pick the progressive rock music as your role well as you know uh, Argentina it's a uh, it's a uh, has a great history uh, with progressive rock bands and has a lot of, of, of fans uh, here uh, when when rock legends as Steve Hackett or Marillion's uh, uh, came uh, to play a gig uh, there's always uh, the, the house is full every time so uh, there is a, a, a huge history here of rock fans, and and uh, and we we uh, we have this common history as as musicians. So we decided that uh, it's the, the the very the very best way to to create our music, the very the very best uh, style to 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 create our new music. So we decided that for that. I was uh, I was fortunate to see you live actually twice on the cruise to the edge 2015 and I had like I had a blast um, uh, knowing that you'll be back on the the next cruise in 2017 like to be signed once is great but to be signed there twice is just amazing how did that came to be possible and uh, what does it mean for you in the band well, I think that became a reality because of the work and, and the leadership of, of Larry Morand. Uh, he had the guts to decide to invite Bad Dreams for the first uh, cruise and took all the risk of choosing a new artist like us. So we are very grateful, grateful with him and with all the crews of the Edge team uh, because they make us feel like family yeah. and uh, we appreciate that so much especially the fans that vote and ask for the band um, you know it means a lot for us because uh, it's a great help uh, for rising artists as bad dreams and to reach prog fans from all over the world and and to have the opportunity to show our music uh, and share the boat with prog legends and and consecrated bands as well so yeah. it is uh, so important and we feel very honored for that um nowadays with the music industry as we know it uh, one way to stand out and get the band known by a larger public is is social networking and I think you're you're doing a pretty good job at it so is that the way to go now yes definitely um, it's the way for an independent uh, band to make them known for all for all the world uh, uh, it's a truly hard work uh, and a lot of times, a uh, lot of people shut the doors in your face. But uh, sooner or later, if you, 
if you believe in your work and have the persistence, um, maybe the doors uh, finally should be opened. Uh, so we 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 continue with with this uh, with this work, uh, contacting all the fans in the web, and it's a uh, it's a, a very great moment when when you you have the response of, of the fans and, and all the love that they gave uh, and they give us all the time. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you and I have a friend in common. Uh, I'll let you pronounce his name, Joel Barrios. Joel. Joel Barrios. Joel. Uh, who helped uh, you guys Joel. with some aspects of, of the release of Deja Vu. So can you Tell us a little bit more about him and the relationship. Well, uh, we meet each other in, in the first cruise, and uh, where was born a, a great friendship uh, between uh, Joel and the band, and and um, then uh, um, we saw his wonderful work as uh, as as a web designer and yep. photographer uh, with artists as, as Neil Moore's and Anglegard. And we talked. Uh, we talked about the possibility of, of, of working together uh, to improve the, the the media side of the band that uh, we have to to to, to, to improve it. Uh, and he's so enthusiastic, and he carries us through. And uh, Joe helped helped us uh, with our new web page. And also, when we had to take some decisions, uh, he's a good advisor, and we needed that. Uh, and uh, now he works uh, with Bad Dream teams, uh, team, and as as he worked uh, for for Neil Morse or Anglegard. Um, yeah. And he's a, a great professional and, and a great person. Awesome. So, what's next uh, for Bad Dreams, and what are your dreams for the band? Oh. Well, uh, we will do a Central uh, America American tour after the cruise, uh, maybe a few gigs in South America, and um, we are working now in the possibility of um, a new European tour for next year. Um, and next March we will start um, the sessions of, of the new album. and. Uh, we are trying to get uh, more gigs in now in USA and of course in Canada. Uh, and so we are contacting now promoters and uh, you know, you know, uh, a little bit. It, yes, you know it. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a hard work, but um, uh, our music is 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 better now. We we we. We think we, with two albums, we have uh, more opportunities to yeah. to play uh, gigs with our own music. So that's great, um, and we are fo focusing now in that. Okay, awesome. Uh, are you ready for a quick profile questions? Oh yeah. If you if you if you want to pass, you just say it. Pass, and and I move on to the next question. So uh, what's what's your awesome? <laughs> I'm joking. What's your favorite band? Oh, that's hard, man. So, uh, can I choose six bands? You go ahead. Um, yes. Genesis, Pink Floyd, um, King Crimson, Rush, and Marillion. Awesome. That's my fav my favorite band. Good. Uh, one song that you wish you had written. Oh, uh, one song that I wish. I Supper's ready. Oof. That's a good one. Is the tribute to Genesis over, or is it still possible for you guys to do some more gigs? I think it's over right now. Um, but we will see. Um, uh, I think we are trying to 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 make more more 
our music than than the Genesis uh, yeah. stuff. But uh, we feel very honored for the ten years we we played Genesis music and and of course uh, if if someone calls us for for a gig, of course we will do it. So okay. Your favorite Genesis song? Oh, uh, what hard, hard questions. <laughs> uh, I think my, my favorite song, my Genesis song is uh, uh, The Musical Box. Okay. Uh, what festival you wish you could be invited to play? Uh, maybe Lorelei. Lorelei, so, yeah. Yes, yes. I think it will be great because it's it's, uh, it's such an his historic place, and, yeah. and so many great bands uh, and proud legends play there. So uh, we would love to play there. Yeah, your uh, favorite song from the album Deja Vu. Oh, there are a lot, but uh, I think uh, maybe Fallen is. Fallen, okay. Yes. Uh, is it possible for Bad Dreams to release an album every second year? Well, actually, uh, I think we have in mind uh, to release uh, um, a new album every year. Oh, okay. So uh, uh, it's uh, it's our our plan for the next, uh, I think, maybe next five years. So um, uh, we are trying to do that. Okay. Uh, your favorite sport? Oh, uh, my favorite sport is uh, mountaineering. Um, I used to climb, but I'm now I'm now retired. But uh, I. I I like to match uh, rock climbing and ice climbing and, and that stuff. Okay. Uh, the one country you wish to play at some point in your career? Japan. Japan. Yes. One last. Provoleta or empanadas? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Those are um, Argentina. Provoleta and empanadas is, is a local food here in Argentina. So. Yeah. Uh, well, provoleta and empanadas. All right, Gabriel, is there anything you, you would like to say before I let you go? No, I'd like to thank you um, um, for, for, um, for posting all the things uh, for reviewing the album and and, and making this uh, this interview this interview um, it's very important for us so um, uh, I'd like to thank you and, and all the prop fans in Canada uh, uh, we will love to play the someday and yeah. we hope so we hope so too so uh Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you on Profile. Best of luck with the new album to be released in one week from now, 18th of yes. November. It's called yes. Deja Vu. And uh, talk, uh, talk in a bit, I'm sure. Okay. All Thank right. you very much. And, and see you in, in next cruise to the edge or no? I hope so. Yes. yes. You will there. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Can you give me answers and I will live forever Echoes of my mind 